Good day everyone, our group will discuss more about photoelectronics, laser, and fiber optic. Presented by Richmond Lee Farron, Estelle Mehejuan, and Krizia Kate Galler. Photoelectronics by Estelle Mehejuan. Photoelectronics in its simplest definition is the involving or utilizing any of various electrical effects due to the interaction of radiation such as light with matter. Before we discuss more about photoelectronics, let us first give you some insight into the nature and basics of light and the photoelectric effect. Light Sources Light is a form of energy produced by a light source. Light is made of photons that travel very fast. Photons of light behave like both waves and particles. Luminescent Sources Luminescent sources are normally cooler and can be produced by chemical reactions such as in a glow stick or a glow worm. Other luminescent sources include a computer screen, fluorescent lights and LEDs. Incandescent sources, incandescent sources use heat to produce light. Nearly all solids, liquids and gases will start to glow with a dull red color once they reach a temperature of about 525 degrees Celsius. At about 2300 degrees Celsius, the filament in a light bulb will start to produce all of the colors of the visible spectrum, so it will look white. Light travels much faster than sound. Light travels at a speed of 299,792,458 meter per second, that's nearly 300,000 kilometers per second. The distance around the Earth is 40,000 kilometers, so in one second, light could travel seven and a half times around the world. Sound only travels at about 330 meters per second through the air, so light is nearly a million times faster than sound. If lightning flashes one kilometer away from you, the light reaches you in three millionths of a second, which is almost instantly. The sound of the thunder takes three seconds to travel one kilometer to work out many kilometers away lightning is. Count the seconds for the thunder to arrive and divide by three. Light can travel through empty space. Unlike sound, which needs a medium, like air or water, to travel through, light can travel in the vacuum of space. Light travels in straight lines. Once light has been produced, it will keep traveling in a straight line until it hits something else. Shadows are evidence of light traveling in straight lines. An object blocks light so that it can't reach the surface where we see the shadow. Light fills up all of the space before it hits the object, but the whole region between the object and the surface is in shadow. Shadows don't appear totally dark, because there's still some light reaching the surface that has been reflected off other objects. Wave Particle Duality of Light Light is waves, when we think about light propagating as waves. These are waves of electromagnetic radiation. Other examples of electromagnetic radiation include X-rays and ultraviolet radiation. Light is particles, light is made of billions of small packets of energy that we now call photons. These photons have no mass, but each photon has a specific amount of energy that depends on its frequency, number of vibrations per second. The photoelectric effect. When light shines on a metal, Electrons can be ejected from the surface of the metal in a phenomenon known as the photoelectric effect. This process is also often referred to as photoemission, and the electrons that are ejected from the metal are called photoelectrons. In terms of their behavior and their properties, photoelectrons are no different from other electrons. Photoelectric devices. Photoelectric transducers are devices capable of converting light energy into electrical energy. In this respect only a limited number of photoelectric components comply with such a definition, that is, photovoltaic devices, which specifically generate electricity when light falls on them. Photoelectric devices A photovoltaic device works like a battery and is generally called a cell or photocell. This is the type used in self-powered light meters. Like batteries they can be connected in series to generate a higher voltage or in parallel to generate higher current. Top performer in this range is the solar cell. It's also capable of being connected in series and or parallel. A multiple cell arrangement is called a solar battery. Photodiodes. It is a light-sensitive PN junction diode. 
It converts light energy into electrical energy. It has two terminals, anode and cathode. It has a similar structure as a normal PN junction diode except for a light-sensitive exposed junction. It can be used in both forward and reverse bias. It produces both voltage and current. It is mainly used in solar cells to power electrical equipment from solar energy. Phototransistor It is a light-sensitive transistor that amplifies the current generated from light energy. It converts light energy into electrical energy and also amplifies it. It has two or three terminals depending on its design. It has a similar structure to a transistor except it has a light-sensitive base region. It is connected only in forward bias. It has a current gain that amplifies the current generated from light. Due to the amplification factor, it has a very high sensitivity. It requires a power source to operate. It is mainly used for detecting or sensing light intensity. Optoisolator A phototransistor and a light-emitting diode, LED, may be combined in a single envelope, such a device being known as an optoisolator. In this case the LED provides the source of illumination to which the phototransistor reacts. It can be used in two working modes. Either as a photodiode with the emitter of the transistor part left disconnected, or as a phototransistor. In both cases the operation is governed by the current flowing through the LED section. Photoelectric controls Photoelectric controls are used in numerous industrial and commercial applications for sensing, detecting, counting, and similar functions. They are commonly interfaced with logic capabilities to cope specifically with individual applications. Most photoelectric controls consist of a light source, photoreceiver combination providing a signal to a control base, which then amplifies this signal and applies the signal logic to transform it into a usable electrical component. In its basic form a photoelectric control is the simplest of electronic circuits. The basic components consist of a power supply, light source, a photodetector, and an output device. Optoelectronics devices with applications. Optoelectronics is the communication between optics and electronics, which includes the study, design and manufacture of a hardware device that converts electrical energy into light and light into energy through semiconductors. Optoelectronics device is basically an electronic device involving light. This device can be found in many optoelectronics applications like military services, telecommunications, automatic access control systems, and medical equipments. Types of optoelectronics devices 1. Photodiode 2. Solar cells 3. Light-emitting diodes 4. Optical fiber 5. Laser diodes Photodiode A photodiode is a semiconductor light sensor that generates a voltage or current when light falls on the junction. It consists of an active PN junction, which is operated in reverse bias. When a photon with plenty of energy strikes the semiconductor, an electron or hole pair is created. The electrons diffuse to the junction to form an electric field. Photodiodes are used in many types of circuits and different applications such as cameras, medical instruments, safety equipments, industries, communication devices, and industrial equipments. Solar cells A solar cells or photovoltaic cell is an electronic device that directly converts sun's energy into electricity. When sunlight falls on a solar cell, it produces both a current and a voltage to produce electric power. Sunlight, which is composed of photons, radiates from the sun. When photons hit the silicon atoms of the solar cell, they transfer their energy to lose electrons, and then, these high-energy electrons flow to an external circuit. The solar cells are applicable in rural electrification, telecommunication systems, ocean navigation aids, electric power generation system in space, and remote monitoring and control systems. Light-emitting diodes Light-emitting diode is a PN semiconductor diode in which the recombination of electrons and holes yields a photon. When the diode is electrically biased in the forward direction, it emits incoherent narrow-spectrum light. When a voltage is applied to the leads of the LED, the electrons recombine with the holes within the device and release energy in the form of photons. This effect is called as electroluminescence. It is the conversion of electrical energy into light. 
LEDs could become the next generation of lighting and used anywhere like in indication lights, computer components, medical devices, watches, instrument panels, switches, fiber optic communication, consumer electronics, household appliances, etc. Optical fiber. An optical fiber is a plastic and transparent fiber made of plastic or glass. It can function as a light pipe or waveguide to transmit light between the two ends of the fiber. Optical fibers usually include three concentric layers, a core, a cladding and a jacket. The core, a light transmitting region of the fiber, is the central section of the fiber. Cladding. The protective layer around the core creates an optical waveguide that limits the light in the core by total reflection at the interface of the core cladding. Jacket, the non-optical layer around the cladding, typically consists of one or more layers of a polymer that protect the silica from the physical damage. These are used in telecommunications, sensors, fiber lasers, and biomedicals. The advantages of using optical fiber cable include their higher bandwidth, less signal degradation, weightlessness and thinness than a copper wire, cost-effectiveness, flexibility, and hence they are used in medical and mechanical imaging systems. Laser diodes. Laser is a source of highly monochromatic, coherent, and directional light. It operates under stimulated emission condition. The function of a laser diode is to convert electrical energy into light energy like infrared diodes or LEDs. The beam of a typical laser has 4 by 0.6 millimeters, extending at a distance of 15 meters. The most common lasers used are injection lasers or semiconductor lasers. The semiconductor laser changes from other lasers like solid, liquid and gas lasers. Laser by Richmond Lee Farron Light amplification by the stimulated emissions radiation or also known as laser. Laser is essentially high-directional, high-intense, high-monochromatic, and highly coherent optical resources. Einstein first proposed the concept of stimulated emissions in early 1917. In 1951, a solid state of ruby laser that was developed by Maiman on this principle. Introduction of Laser Laser materials processing is done on various materials such as metals, alloys, ceramics, glass, and polymers materials. Compared to conventional industrial fabrication methods, laser processing offers a competitive advantage. A new manufacturing technique uses high power pulsed, continuous wave, or both types of laser beams as tools. Total industrial laser application, cutting has 41%, welding or brazing 13%, marking 13%, semiconductor display 12%, fine metal process 9%, non-metal process 5%, additive manufacturing 3% and others application is 4%. Laser interaction with materials. Two types of laser process. A thermal processing and thermal processing. When the laser beam make a contact on a metal or other materials, the radiation energy is absorbed. The materials even melted or vaporized depending on the amount of energy absorbed and time interaction. At high intensity of radiation, the vapor ionized to produce plasma. Plasma layer formed between the laser and the workpiece prevent the laser beam from reaching the workpiece. Heating. Hardening, surface modification. Melting. Welding, alloying, cutting, rapid phototyping. Vaporizing. Drilling, marking, deposition, surface cleaning. Exactly how hot is the laser beam? Heat is a random motion of matter particles, atomic or molecular particles. However, the laser beam itself is not made of matter but of protons, the so-called light particles which have no mass. Therefore, the laser beam can have no temperature. Depending on the amount of energy absorbed and interaction time. Laser cutting Cutting of metal sheets, foils and glasses, provide high edge quality. Laser cutting is highly focusable to about 25 microns. Computer numerical control, CNC, programmed cutting machine. Melt fusion mechanism. Materials is expelled by the kinetic energy of an assist gas. The efficiency of a laser cutting can be increased by making use of a gas jet coaxial with the laser. Laser welding. 
Metal sheet are welded together by the heat conduction welding. The laser beam heats the edges of two plates to their melting points and cause them to fuse together. Laser beam is scanned over the surface of a mating parts along common joints. Uses of laser welding. Laser welding create a strong seam at high speed. It is the most prominent in automotive industry. Widely used in automobile, electronics, jewelry, engineering, manufacturing industry. Laser drilling. A series of pulses is fired at fixed location on the workpiece. Usually powerful light pulses of duration 1 milliseconds to 10 microseconds. The material subject to laser drilling is vaporized and melted layer by layer until drill holes are created. Advantages of using laser welding. Speed and flexibility, laser welding is fast technique, deep. Narrow welds, low distortion and low heat input, suitable for range materials and thicknesses, non-contact, single-sided process. Radiation becomes trapped in the keyhole, inducing plasma formation. Surface cleaning. Rust, paint, oxide, and other impurities can be eliminated from metal surfaces using the non-contact method of laser cleaning. Ablation is known for the physical event that occurs during the surface cleansing of metal surface oxide. When a material layer or coating is removed using a laser beam laser ablation takes place. Laser cleaning requires a pulsed fiber, typically 50 watts or more. Application of surface cleaning. Old paint removing, fine finish surfaces, rust and oxide removing. Welding pre and post treatment, removing oil from the surface of a materials, removing the burnt rubber residue from the tire molds. Other applications. Labeling and marketing or engraving serial numbers and barcodes. Hardening the ferrous materials, stainless steel, and aluminum alloy. Production of semiconductor devices laser annealing. Laser deposition of thin film photolithography. Electronic components. PCB application. Optical communication. Advantages of laser. Accuracy and precision. Multifunctional machine. Compatible with computer-aided manufacturing, CAM. Non-contact techniques. Flexible beam guiding through optical fibers. Absence of tool wear and tear. Rapid processing. Beam can be focused from small to large area. Five important laser safety measures to follow. Wear laser safety glasses. Utilize proper storage. Follow standards and regulations. Work with trained personnel. And use warning signs. Fiber optics. By Krizia Kate Gawler. Fiber Optics. The field of applied science and engineering concerned with the design and application of optical fibers is known as fiber optics. Optical fibers typically include a core surrounded by a transparent cladding material with a lower index of refraction. Light is kept in the core by the phenomenon of total internal reflection which causes the fiber to act as a waveguide. Fiber optic lines are strands of optically pure glass as thin as a human hair that carry digital information over long distances. They are also used in medical imaging and mechanical engineering inspection. They have virtually replaced the older technology of copper wires in telecommunications. Structure of optical fiber. Optical fiber is comprised of a light carrying core surrounded by a cladding which traps the light in the core by the principle of total internal reflection. Most optical fibers are made of glass, although some are made of plastic. The core and cladding are usually fused silica glass which is covered by a plastic coating called the buffer or primary buffer coating which protects the glass fiber from physical damage and moisture. There are some all-plastic fibers used for specific applications. Glass optical fibers are the most common type used in communication applications. How optical fiber works. Theory of fiber optics. The principle of operation of optical fiber lies in the behavior of light. It is a widely held view that light always travels in a straight line and at constant speed. 
The propagation of light within an optical fiber it is necessary to take into account refractive index of the dielectric medium. Refractive index of the dielectric medium is defined as the ratio of velocity of light in vacuum to velocity of light in medium. Refractive index equals velocity of light in vacuum velocity of light in medium. As we can see in the figure, the velocity of light in any solid transparent materials is less than in vacuum the refractive index of such material 1 is always greater than 1. When a ray is incident on the interface between two dielectrics of differing refractive indices, refraction occurs. The total internal reflection. At angles of incidence greater than critical angle the light is reflected back into the originating dielectrics medium. This behavior of light is termed as total internal reflection. Here, the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. This is the mechanism by which light may be considered the propagate down to an optical fiber with L. Owl loss. Fig, below illustrates the transmission of a light ray in an optical fiber via a series of total internal reflection at the interface of the silica core and slightly lower refractive index silica cladding. Low index cladding high index cladding. The light ray shown in figure is known as meridian ray as it passes through the axis of the fiber core. It is generally used when illustrating the fundamental transmission properties of optical fiber. Types of fiber optic cable. First, step index. In this type of cable the refractive index is constant of the core from center to the interface of core and clad. Second, graded index. In this type of cable the refractive index of core is varies, at the center of the core is max and gradually decrease towards the clad. Classification of fibers from the above terms. 1. Multimode step index fiber. Core diameter from 100 to 970 micrometer, with this large core diameter there are many paths, which light can travel, multimode. The difference in the length of time it takes the various light rays to exist the fiber is called model dispersion. Model dispersion is a form of a signal distortion which limits the bandwidth of the fiber. Multimode graded index fiber. It is an improvement on the multimode step index fiber because light travel faster through the lower index of refraction, the light at the fiber core travels more slowly than the light nearer the surface. Therefore both light rays arrive at the exit point at almost same time. Thus reduces model dispersion, core diameter ranges from 50 to 85 micrometer, cladding diameter of 125 micrometer. Single mode step index, most widely used in wide band communication arena. Light rays travel on only one path model dispersion is zero. Core diameter ranges from 5 micrometer to 10 micrometer. Cladding diameter is 125 micrometer a single mode step index cable. Uses of fiber optics. Fiber optics is used for long distance and high performance data networking. It is also commonly used in telecommunication services, such as internet, television and telephones. They enable transmission over greater distances and at higher bandwidth levels, optical fibers are frequently utilized in fiber optic communications. Besides fiber optic communications, they are widely used in various other places like the automotive industry, for transmitting internet signals, decorations and lighting, mechanical inspections, dentistry and medicine, and more. Other applications of fiber optic cables. 1. Local and long-distance telephone systems. 2. TV studio to transmitter interconnection, eliminating microwave radio link. 3. Closed-circuit TV systems used in buildings for security. 4. Secure communication systems at military bases. Computer networks, wide area network, WAN, and local area network, LAN. Data acquisition and control signal communication in industrial process control systems. That's all for our presentation, thank you for listening and have a great day.